What's up? All right, we are at Burke Lumber, Waterford. We're gonna pick up some of the uh, one stick of that 16 foot LVL beam. I already have one, so that's probably focusing on my face, not my, not the actual lumber. So, oh, there we go. Oh, I love it when you get to come to a lumber yard and see what they don't have. So. <laughs> They still have some inventory, but it's it's not much. So, in case anybody wants to know, my local Home Depot Lowe's obviously do not sell LVLs, so you gotta actually go to a professional shop. Beam, you can see AJ back there. Uh, get there, here we go. Here's your LVL beams, triple stacked, which is complete overkill. Get it up there, there you go, for this location. So let's get to it. <sighs> Originally this is gonna span the entire way. Uh, so that's why we had triple stack, but then she moved the bathroom over to here. And we added a two by six to tie it in. So we have super sturdy little, I'm gonna say about an 18, 18 foot span. I can't remember exactly where this span is, but uh, we still have to put the hurricane ties on, tie everything together. We got your fasteners every 18 inches staggered. So on this side, you can see they're staggered. And that's uh, that's a big deal. Well, you don't want to, you you don't want to split the the beam itself, but um, that's basically the gist of this. And I'll throw in some pictures of what it looked like the iron beam that was in here before. But we got rid of that post and that post. So lots of work. Took six. I think there's one, two, three. There's was there five, four of us, five of us to get uh, four of us to get this out there. It's pretty heavy, I and mean, we we did it all obviously. We, this wall wasn't there, so it comes into the corner. Sparky's already been here. I'm gonna go straight into there now. We get the extra support. And this little drywall's got to come down anyway because we we had to change order. Because obviously this is where the bathroom is going now. So, um, but that's that's basically it on this little LVL beam, load bearing beam. That's me but you don't care right there. So let's take a look. Not done yet. Basically this wall load bearing only because uh, they're two by four. You can see them right here. There's these truss, the bottom of these uh, supports are sistered right here. So guess what that means? It means it's a load bearing. Anyways, pretty simple. You got yourself a uh, temporary wall right here to support the weight. Temporary wall right there to support the weight. We got one, we ran out of two by fours. Those are short, those are too short. Uh, right there, so we gotta put one more there. And then we can take out this wall right here. And it's actually gonna extend out to about right here. So I think it's about half the measure. I think it's about 12, 12 feet. So we're gonna do two nine and a quarter um, sandwiched uh, with some half inch uh, plywood to give us the three and a half wide right there and we're gonna leave it there that's basically what we're doing you can see cut out the ceiling we have a, we have access we can see and we can you know put anchors in where we need to all that good stuff so pretty straightforward pretty straightforward i still love that workstation by the way so and then we'll, relo we'll relocate the electrical move the fan move the lighting all that good stuff but we're actually turning this because you guys are wanting to know this is two bedrooms we are Turning it into one bedroom and another bathroom and a small, another closet over there. That window, this window is going bye bye. This window is going to be a, a three by six window. So, and then paint the walls and um, there's going to be some cabinets here with a TV and that's going to get walled off as well and we'll we'll be done. So, if you want, if you want the entire scope of work for this for this job. All right, so we got the beams in. I got the one stripped down. And we are just tying them together. <clears throat> Ledger lock. This is what I use for this. It just depends on the beam itself. But uh, we have them every 18 inches. Boom, boom. And you might be like, oh, wait, it's supposed to be, you know, if you if you look this up, uh, depending, on the, depending on your span. So we have 12 foot span. Um, so it needs, I think it's like every 10 inches these need to be in, but we do reverse these. So I'll turn, I'll flip this entire beam over and then half this. So on the opposite side, we'll have uh, fasteners here as well. So actually every nine inches, there'll be, um, there'll be fasteners. 
all the way down the beam. And we, <clears throat> we don't worry about lining it up too much because we're gonna take our saw and cut it off to what we need. And then over here, same thing. Obviously these are 16, we don't need 16. We're only going about 13 feet. Um, maybe, maybe we might go a little further, who knows. So, but uh, I have those still to take out, but I need to put that one up first just to support the extra truss or the extra um, two by four that's up there. And then we'll uh, we'll slap this baby up there once I get this framed out. Now, um, this is pretty much we're done here because, let me flip this around here. We're done here almost because even though the customer approved it, I do not have a signed change order to do this because originally uh, I told her we're gonna have to bump this out real quick because there's not enough space because the roof comes down. There's not enough space to have your nine and a quarter beam here. So there'll have to be a protrusion, a little small here, a little wall for it to actually sit on and support the load. And I told her we can either do that or we can flush it, bring it down. You'll have a little header, a little beam. You'll be able to see the, the out casing of the beam, but you'll have a flat wall, which is what she wants. That's a change order. We've got to cut all this out and then obviously reinforce the, um, the area right there. So I'm just prepping for that. And she's supposed to be here. Uh, today uh, But she's not here yet. So no sign change order. We are not we're not proceeding with any more work besides getting the beam ready to go um, And I don't even know um, She said she wants to extend this wall some more. So I'm not exactly sure where she wants this at so We're not that's another change order So we are pretty much done here for this beam part uh, once you have these you know screwed down You flip it over you screw it down you make sure these are you know edged Edge correctly, I might have to cut up a little bit of this because um, just to make sure it's you know nice and true. We want to make sure everything's good to go on this side over here. Let's see, we're good. I got my square over there, it fell over, but we are just fine on that side. And that's the bottom side, the top side, we want to make sure it's the exact same. That way, it's all true, nice, plumb level, all that good stuff. So, this beam, uh, nine and a quarter inches, two of them with the uh, the half inch on OSB in the center, spacing, make it happen, right? So that's basically the gist of a beam. We're gonna get it up and make sure it's supported. Now, obviously you follow the code, local code in your area, because obviously everything's different. Some some may have different structural um, thing code basically to have to go by, but make sure code is just a bare minimum. Make sure you exceed it just to cover your butt um, for liability reasons. That's what we always do here with all this. Like, I'm pretty sure that, you know, one of these beams, I, I, I look at the span table, I always assumed it was gonna be two, but probably one would probably support it. But if we went above it with, with a hidden beam at the same time, why do that? Just slap two of them on, be done with it. You don't ever have to worry about it ever again. I, don't, I can sleep easy at night. All that good, uh, all that good mumbo jumbo. All right, that is all for now. Let's put that workstation to work here pretty soon. We've got some of, the, some of those to frame out and then this, this bathroom to frame out. The flooring is gonna need a lot of work. She's actually bringing in another uh, contractor to quote out the flooring because I, I told her like, listen, I'll quote you, but it's, it's not cheap. We gotta level it out. And this customer particularly wants a five year warranty on everything, five years. So what that means is we charge more. That's five year warranty, so no problem. We, we overbuild it. Make sure everything's good. They're super picky, so they pay for it. That's all I got for now, guys. Let's see here, right? I hope we do that. I just got this change order signed, um, on, but we have other work we got to do, so obviously more change orders. I couldn't lift the beam up into place. Uh, we didn't get a chance to actually frame out that exterior wall for it to, you know, a little cradle for it. Uh, a couple things I want to talk about pricing. Uh, obviously, depending on the location, what kind of beam you're doing, if you're doing a hidden beam, uh, what you have to take out to get that beam in place, where the beam's located, all, all factors in. Um, if you guys want to know pricing wise, it ranges, but obviously I'm usually about 180 to 250 dollars a linear foot with materials included, and that obviously that, that could fluctuate up or a little bit down, not too much down, but definitely up for sure, depending on the demo required, the access to the job site location, uh, paying the buck factor with the customers. If you know, it just depends. So 
Um, so if you have, you know, 14 linear feet, just times by that amount and you can, you know, kind of get your price range, but that, you know, easy access, you know, that would probably be about, about the, the general gist of it. You know, mark up your materials, mark up, you know, mark everything, make sure you get a profit on everything, not just your labor. But that's, that's the, uh, that's, the, that's the gist for these load bearing beams. Make sure, uh, you know, your span tables. If you need to get an architect for uh, knocking out walls, you know, an engineer, all that kind of stuff, because you don't want the liability. But if it's just a simple low bearing, you can get up there and take a look at it. Um, you know, you, you can. This is uh, not hard work, but it's at the, you just got to be careful. Make sure you know you don't skip any steps. Make sure everything's supported it correctly, and you'll be just fine. So, so I got you guys. Like and subscribe.